the current pandemic made it clear that we shouldn't ignore science. Choose science. To science? Choose. Choose. Choose science. Sorry, this makes me real nervous. I'm getting awkward. Choose science. Like, choose science. Yeah. 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 Choose science. Choose science. Choose science. Choose science. <laughs> choose science. Yeah. Choose science. A natural curiosity is a great start. I was always interested in knowing how things work. I'm fascinated with discovering stuff. As, even as a child. I believe we are all born young scientists. I was always the kid who was like lifting up rocks and looking at what was under them and being like, cool. Of course, the vinegar and baking soda volcano, the classic. How do zebras acquire their stripes? Answering those questions you have as a child, like why do trees grow? Uh, you know, why is the sky blue? And why is it raining? And, and just knowing kind of the mechanics behind the ecosystem. Looking at the dark sky and seeing so many stars and just imagining that we human beings came from these stars. Why do we get sonic booms when an aircraft goes supersonic? When I was younger, I read about how the ancient Greeks learned to understand the world, how they learned that the Earth was a sphere, how they calculated the circumference of the Earth and actually got it to within 5% of the true value. I had an incredible fixation with paleontology I think it was pretty natural to transition into wanting to pursue science at a higher level and even pursue science as a career. I wouldn't say there was a specific time in my life where I became very fascinated with sharks. I don't know, like I watched Shark Week. <laughs> <laughs> if you're curious about how nature works at a basic level, math is a good place to start. Physics also not only teaches you physics itself, but also teaches you problem solving. That's obviously used in every discipline. The cool thing about stats is that you get to apply things in every other discipline. I get to learn things about economics and biology and chemistry and physics. And if you want to be somewhere where you can learn about all of science and work with everyone, statistics is really the place to go. I chose chemistry because it really helped me understand um, why things behave the way they do, why different molecules um, interact with each other the way they do. You could do statistics related to you know, finance and marketing or the life sciences or medical health research or you know, engineering. From where I come from especially, mental health is still a very um, small thing. Not, people, not many people talk about it. So I really wanted to go in depth into exploring the way we think and the way we feel and why we feel that way, how can we help ourselves. And that's when I discovered psychology. Part of biology that is most interesting to me is definitely evolution. Um, that's my specific focus for my major and I think it's just because I have such a passion for history that and living things that that kind of comes together to form evolution so it just made sense for me to go with that. I feel that mathematics gives us a more logical approach to life in real life situations, taking calculated, making calculated moves that you know for sure are going to work. It makes you sort of a great problem solver, which I think that goes beyond science. It's not only a, a really, really good skill to have in science, but also in other professions as well. My dream is that my work and uh, my research would have a significant contribution to scientific community as well as the humanity itself. Science helps us understand the world we live in. Science helps us shape the future for the next generation. That's why I chose science, and that's why I enjoy teaching at the U of M as well. My dream is to help and to inspire young students like myself from Northern Manitoba to come and pursue science at the University of Manitoba. Choose co-op. Students should choose the science co-op program as it enables them to test drive different positions and employers in the research, government, industry, and non-for-profit environments locally, nationally, and internationally all the while gaining 12 months of paid degree-related work experience, along with the acquisition and development of technical and non-technical skills. We need to put some film in the camera now. We're gonna do this, we're gonna do this for real. So if you don't mind starting from the beginning. And...